I always like this stage, and oxygen not included, where the little dupes are running around aimlessly putting everything into storage things that they possibly can. Also, we're doing decently well because our oxygen overlay is okay. We've got 46,000 food. Unfortunately, it's not the best food, but I mean, it's still food. And the only thing that I see a problem right now is that our water supply is starting to go down. So the first thing we're gonna do today is delete this one specific place. Just one of them, like so. And then we're gonna come back in here and we're gonna build a tile right there. We're also gonna build a tile right here. Uh-huh. And in a matter of seconds, the soul stone will be created. Why did I say soul stone? This isn't Minecraft. The sandstone will be created, which means that I can start removing some of these and we're gonna flood across to get all of this clean water down into this uh, mostly clean water. Oh, good. It is clean now. Someone peed in it before. We don't talk about that very much, though. So we're gonna slowly drop all of this water down. Hopefully they don't take too much of a shower. This isn't Dwarf Fortress, after all. In Dwarf Fortress, one of the favorite things you can do for your dwarf is giving them mist showers. Which is kind of weird, but they like it. I'm also thinking it might be a good idea if we make, like, a self-propelled oxygen, self-powered oxygen system. And we can use this area right up here. As long as we don't get too close to the uranium ore, it's slightly radioactive. I'm actually quite pleased. That was about the proper amount of water that I wanted to pour in there. If I open up too much more, it might get a little spicy. Also, I wanted to check how the... Yeah, we're starting to get a little hot on that side of the world. Yeah. It's my nightmare in this game is the heat generation. I'm never great at it. Oh, look, we got a little hatch that just hatched. We're gonna wrangle you, and that should drop them off up into here into our little ranch. It's not a great station, but it'll work. We're getting a little bit of coal out of here, which will eventually feed these things. We could do the automation, which would be cool. Like send over a conveyor belt and drop those off so people don't have to wander in here and put the carbon car coal into the carbon dioxide room. We also probably should start cleaning up our polluted water. Nah. We can fill it up more. There you go, Pyro. <laughs> Just kidnap that hatchling is gonna bring it right up into the base. That'll work. This one will also uh, work pretty cool. Yeah, you'll hatch in a couple of minutes to days. I don't really know, but bloop. There you go, hatch. So I also changed up the research a little bit. If we're gonna make a self-powered oxygen manufacturer, we need to get some improved ventilation and some better high-end things. We're gonna start needing to dig as well. So let's make sure we're digging in the right spot. We could probably fit it in over here somewhere. And I don't quite remember how big it's gonna be, so let's just do that quick. If I remember right, it's like 11 or 12 tiles wide and maybe like 15 tall. Uh-oh, <laughs> Pyro just got stuck up here. Buddy, yeah, there you go. Mine that one out so you can escape. Ooh, something just happened. Did we get a research completed already? Oh, where are you going, friend? <laughs> this is a bad play for you, Pyro. You're gonna have to mine, oh, there it is. You're gonna fall straight down? Nice. Just did that so he could breathe. You're a smart little fella. I'm also really surprised how fast that research went. So let's see, the decontamination we got, we're gonna need a bunch of sensors and stuff. Let's just go for this one. Oh boy, these get really my brain confused. I think a lot of that's for the spaceship stuff, the rocketry that comes eventually. Oh, this is gross. There is polluted goo coming out of that. What is in you? Grub fruit seeds, there's polluted dirt. Just hanging out with food poisoning. I wouldn't mind getting some of this chlorine gas and using that ooh, as like a, a storage zone. We could also do that in here so food doesn't get rotten. Pyro is going to absolute town on this thing. Just mining like crazy. Grim's over here like, yay, I'm proud of you. Thanks for getting the, the muck root. He just keeps mining and mining and mining away. What my plan is to do is just start mining and then once all of this is taken care of, we're gonna delete a few of these and it'll drop all of these resources down and we'll be able to collect it normally. Also, if I do get the automation, then it should clean it up on its own. It's been a long time since I've done that though. Whee! <laughs> good thing there's no fall damage. Oh, Dalton. Oh, he jumped off of it at the last second. That was good of him. Ooh, the shiny button happened. Let's choose a blueprint. Uh-huh. A directlet. Oh my. An 11 science? Do I need anyone? That's the real question. Increased decor? Uh, I don't know if I need any of these. Bedside manner? Tier 2 skill in what? Is that the doctoring skill? Yeah, sick bay. Increased agriculture. But your bonus in those. Yeah, we're going to reject everyone. We don't want those. 
Ooh, he just dug up another hatch. We're gonna wrangle that guy. We're just, they're like Pokemon. We have to collect them all. Or pals in pal world. There you go. There's some good wrangling happening. <laughs> just love that animation. Dude's like, oh, I want out of here. But we hogtied him real good, so we should be able to pick it up and then drop it immediately down here. Well done, Dalton. And bloop. Yay, delivered a hatch. Oh, why it's so close to completing this too. This is good. All right, that one, one more, and then this one. And then I'm just gonna piggyback. You go backwards. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh. now come back, come back here, Wyatt, come back here. Ah, you dingus. We're gonna get rid of all of these. Get rid of the coal and the algae. And I'm hoping our fellow with the research has been doing good. Nice, we did get the insulated tiles. So we can start building that up too. Wow, that's a lot of muck root you found. Drop all these resources so they don't have to carry it as far. Good job, Pyro. Did he just dab when he completed that? I hope not. And now we're gonna start doing some insulated tiles. We don't have too much stuff here. Overheat temperature, I guess we'll do the igneous rock. And I want it to be too high here, so... Uh, boy, this is gonna be... Okay, you gotta bear with me for a second. We gotta plan this out. Now these things are a little bit weird. And the whole idea is that you want all of the oxygen being self-contained and then it pumps out normally. So we're gonna cancel that. We'll have four wide, I guess. This should be good. Like I said, it's been so wide. I'm trying to find the, the right tutorials that I used in the past and my old videos don't really help very much. Oh well. I do know that we need some mesh tiles above though. And if we do that, we don't want it that wide. We want it to come back like so. Okay, that'll work. I have a feeling I'm using the wrong, um, the wrong things on these. Like the wrong, what's the word? Uh, materials, because I don't have gold yet and gold's like the best material for this. Also, it's gonna take more power than we're able to send it. So we might have to get a little fancy with that for a meantime until we can get some uh, refined power. Yeah, like all of these Atmos sensors take refined metal. So that's gonna be the next step, even though we just got our research done. If I were refining, where would I be? Ooh, robotic tools sounds fun. Smelting, there we go. That thing's nasty. We're gonna use it anyway. Aw, look at Link down here, scrubbing their teeth. Oh, not being able to breathe properly. You know, we could probably just uh, punch in an airflow tile or two. That could help out a lot. Same in their bedrooms, why not? That would help with the airflow quite a bit because that's all carbon monoxide. We'll let that sink down here where we'll be able to mine it out. I should really put in a Atmos sensor once we get this too, so we don't have to keep pumping it over and over. I mean, we're pumping just oxygen out right now, right? The whole idea of this thing is it pumps the oxygen, filters it around and brings all the carbon dioxide over to these. And then these carbon skimmers, once this gets piled up, it'll drop the It'll purify the water, purify the air into little bubbles and drop it down into here. But these aren't even going. Where's my power at? We're almost out of power. Why, fellas? Insufficient resources, coal. We're out of coal, that's not good. Not already. Please, little dinguses, eat more. You've got coal? We just not, don't have anyone uh, carrying it, I guess. There we go. Okay, that's back on. Come on, splatter sacks. Get your research done. Oh, it's so close. Hey, hey, he's done it. Good job, Splatter Sacks. Okay, let's bring in, where is that station now, right? Station, uh, refinement. There it is, metal refinery. Okay, what does this do now? Power requirements, butt load, uh, liquid intake, outtake. What in the what? All right, significantly heats and outputs liquid piped into it. So that must be the cooling. Oh boy, I don't like this. We don't really have a good setup for it, so we'll just plop it in somewhere close. I guess we could drop it up here. Ah, oh, this is such a bad idea, but it's only temporary, right, fellas? Right, only temporary? Put one there. We need to put in that high watt pressure thingy. High watt power, where power button, high heavy watt. Switch over, really? Must be building unoccupied space. Thanks, dingus. And then it needs water going in and out. I believe it's water. That shouldn't be too hard, actually. We have the any here, and we could plumb that into the the old poop chute up here. Uh huh. Across and in. I think it is. I don't know what kind of outlet it has. I don't know if it's going to be clean water or not. We'll find out. Really? Why won't you do what I want you to do? Whatever. We'll put it there. It's only temporary, right? 
I think I said that already. It could produce oxygen that's really hot. I'm not sure about that. We really don't want too much of it. Why don't you have power? Yeah, copper to copper ore. Why don't you have power though? Because it's not hooked up, duh. And it doesn't have water supply. Why not? Because I have it hooked up backwards. Okay, fix up my airs, please. Yep, yep, drop those, pop that in, then do one of them and one of those, and then that one should be good. All right, it needs oxygen, not oxygen. Uh, Can I do this up to 25? Because I think that's how many we need. And I really don't want to go two more because it's hot. And also, there's something missing, this one. Hmm, I also don't have, I need to get that. I was getting Sweepy because I thought Sweepy, the robot, would be fun. Let's see. Yeah, he's still researching that. We need to get the insulated pipes in a second. Okay, that should be going. We got water coming in. That's good news. But that's a ton of water going in there. My goodness. Awaiting coolant, awaiting materials, delivering copper ore. How much water goes into that? Nice research complete. Thank you, Sweepy's here. Let's get the insulated piping next. That one? Yep. Oh, somebody's working on it. Okay, this is good news. We're gonna get our little bit. Oh, I think it happened. Okay, I did think that. Shoot, I don't want clean water into there. Quick, disconnect that. Quick, disconnect, quick, disconnect. Oh, thank you. All right, perfect. Uh, Plumbing, let's reconnect it to the liquid bridge. That's such a bad idea. It's such a bad idea. Super hot water, this stuff's coming out at 40 degrees. It's going in at 22. Oh, why do I do this to myself? Time to pollute everything. That actually might not even work. I don't know. I could give them hot showers though. That'd be kind of fun. Or I could filter it back into this system. Do they like hot showers? What's wrong with this? Pressure? What's wrong with the pressure? What happened to my oxygen? Hold up. We don't have any LG, LJ. Where's the oxygen diffusers? Did I not make one? I thought for sure, for sure I made one. I don't want the electrolyzers. Okay, it is diffuser. I just need LG for it. Uh, there's some right here. There's some right here. There's some in the stink pit. That should be okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself all the time? All right, we got plenty up here though. Grab that, place it in. Thank you, oxygen's being made again. <laughs> right guys? All right, they're getting plenty up there. That's one reason why I really, really, really need to change things up. Oh, my back hurts today. I don't know why. Just getting old. Oh, ow. Okay, so our problem with this thing now is that it doesn't have water properly. I do not want to feed water back into here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up a switch right here in the power station. And I'm hoping someone's going to come down here eventually build these up there we go and when we're doing that we can just switch back over to the power overlay and then remove this one wire then i can turn that button off to inactivate that which will open up the water supply from here good so that no longer has power or it shouldn't at least water is going to filter up and then it'll pull the hot water out to use it throughout here making the base entirely warmer whatever uh, we need to do the automation now. We need some Atmo sensors. Okay, I have a little bit. We need one, two, and I believe three. Also, I need the Atmo wire, not Atmo wire, automation wire. And I think this is, yep, I don't have enough, but they'll be able to build those. This is not working as fast as I wanted it to. Huh. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of fancy footwork here and, and make it go around. I think that should work. We'll just drain this down in. Yep, yep. All right. It's working in circles. <laughs> That's kind of weird. At least that has coolant again, or it will in a, a minute or so. Okay, yeah, it's, it's going around. That one should be built. Now I need to delete the pipe here. But I delete the pipe. That, that's working. Whatever. I'm going to delete that pipe anyway, and now I can rebuild it to make sure it works. Yeah, we did a little spillage, but that's fine because we're above the water anyway. It's just gonna start heating up that water supply. Good, it's working now. I hate that it's doing this because I don't want heat everywhere, but we have to sometimes. All right, you guys are gonna mop. Actually, where is he? Sweepy. Let's put Sweepy up here. 
He's gonna be a good boy. A good sweepy sweepy. Automated sweepy bot to sweep solid debris and liquid spills. Doc stores liquids gathered by Sweepy. Oh, great. Well, whatever. It'll be fun to have a Sweepy bot around. Yay, Sweepy's here. Where's Sweepy? <laughs> no configuration available. All right, deploys an automatic Sweeper bot. I guess when it powers up, or that must be storage. And then you probably use that for, I wonder if there's a range. I've never actually used one of these before. Okay, I should have put it closer over here. Why are you delivering? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Does it work per floor level? What's he doing? Hey, little friend. Can you go downstairs? No, you can't. You're pointless. Sweepster. Look how cute he is, though. Aw. Why do you keep delivering copper to it, you dingus? All right, we're gonna disconstruct that. Sorry, Sweepy, you weren't as cool as I had hoped. Although if I had an automation system to go into the storage, that would work. Because we have like, oh, not those things, but the, uh, where are they? It's way up here. These things right here, solid transport. We can try this. Might be a good idea. We also need to put another layer up top. Let's see if I can get this in the right spot. It needs to be right up here, but yep, that'll work. And then this is where our power level is going to be. So the first thing we're gonna put in is one of these smart batteries right in the corner. And then we'll do two of the hydrogen generators back to back. Once we have that in place, we'll take insulated tile, bring it up over and right there. And I'm hoping we have the better wires. We don't, so we'll need to research that too. If I can find them, why can I never find anything in this? Maybe I just need a preset for power. Hey, there we go. Why are transit tubes power related? That makes zero sense. That's what I need right there. I totally forgot to turn that water pipe back on. <laughs> Whoopsies. Everything's out of water again. <laughs> That's my bad. Except for that sink. I feel dumb, but it's okay. You guys already knew that. All right, water's going back up. Showers are filling up again. Thankfully, nobody peed on the ground. They're totally gonna go use the bathrooms now though. And this thing's coming together pretty well. We have our hydrogen generators up top. The idea is that these electrolyzers give off oxygen and hydrogen, and they're gonna get collected. The hydrogen will collect up here because it's lighter than the oxygen, which will sink down. Hydrogen will get collected, will be fed into these things, and the oxygen will be collected and then fed off into the base. That's the theory anyway. I just realized that we ran out of refined metal again and nobody wants to come down here and build it. Thank you, Kaitsu. Thank you so much. We need that. We need your hot water going back into our water thing. Temperature, yeah, it's slowly heating up. That's so bad. Ah, uh, I need to remember how to deal with heat again. And we don't have any big things. We might need to do like an exploration dig. But the good news is we do have the better wires available now. There's a conductive wire. And good thing about this, it has a max power of two kilowatts and we're gonna be generating 1600 from these two. So we'll power it that way. Bring it down like so to about right here. Oh, I ran out again. We'll get across and then the bottom one will get there. I mean, you guys know how to plug things in. You not stupids. Everybody's all together on this. They're so excited. They wanna build pure oxygen. They love breathing. And oxygen will be included, which will be fun. That's kind of the name of the game. Oh, this is kind of nice. Uh, Dalton can level up to be a demolition expert. Kind of cool. He has an interest in it. <laughs> so do I. Uh, Grim Reaper here. You can get tidying and pyrotechnics. What? Sure. I mean, you get a morale bonus for that one, too. And we can give you the better hats. The one I was hoping for is uh, this crop tending. Nobody has access to that. I mean, Link can do both the critter ranching and crop tending, but I thought I hired someone. It's been a couple weeks since I last played the first two videos. Huh. I guess we need somebody who can do critter ranching eventually. Which probably means they mean more bedrooms too. Why don't we do that real quick? Always oh, nice having your bedroom directly below the stinking creatures that are literally pooping coal. Santa Claus would be proud of us. My Christmas present factory over here. Furniture, let's get some new cots in here. The hanging gardens of Blitztopia will be very nice this time of year too. I totally put that in the wrong spot. No, don't you dare. Oh, Dalton, I almost fired you. Hot dang. We have to have symmetry here, my friends. There has to be symmetry. Where's that uh, decor? All right, sculpting blocks in between. Let's uh, get rid of Wyatt's bed. 
why it doesn't need that. We'll get some briar seeds here. We'll plant them. Copy the settings. How is our production? Looks like... I can't tell. Where is it? Copper? Refined? 155. It's not very much. Especially since I really wanted to use radiant pipes all the way through this. So, like, as soon as it comes in... Right about here, we'll have it come in down there. And then I just want to do radiant pipes through this whole thing. Just to keep these a little cooler. But I have no idea how I'm going to get enough power to do this. Not power, but radiant pipes to do it. Yeah, we're so far behind. And then we need to bring it back into that one too. Whatever. We'll just wait for a while until they get all the radiant pipes done. Also, totally need to work on the regular gas pipes too. So we'll bring you guys down and out. Same with you. I'm just going to vent them right there for a half a minute. And we could do radiant gas pipes on the top. Hmm, it's not a bad idea. So I added a few more extra pipes into here, mainly so it would, uh, like, store a little bit more in case we need a little more hydrogen than we think we need. We can also get the air tanks to store some extras if there is an overwhelming amount. I will just go with it and see what happens right now. They have a lot to build. Okay, I'm going to cut this level down now, too, so a little more water piles in. It's not that much, but I do want to fill up this and remove that. There's also a tank over here we might need to manually pump because, well, frankly, that's way too much to just dump in. And I can maybe add on here, pump that into it too. I always like having big water tanks in this game. Ooh. All right, let's see if we can get a someone who's good at pff, athletics, machinery, food poisoning, machinery, athletics. I need someone who's a good farmer. Uh, I'll take the free sandstone though. Well, I've got good news and I've got other good news. I believe everything is hooked up here, except uh, these few, I need to come up and over. Okay, pipes are hooked up. We have, do we have ventilation hooked up? Ventilation is hooked up. We need to finish doing, oh boy. <laughs> We're gonna try it. We're gonna try the hookup. I did set this one to 250 and then both of these to 450. So if those go on, these will turn on. And we are going to need to boost it from external. Hopefully it'll work out okay. Uh-oh. I need to do this priority higher. Put that at like an 8. We don't want anyone to get stuck in there. And knowing them, they're going to get stuck in there. We're also going to need to hook up the oxygen to the water supply. So we'll bring this up over. And can I put a valve on here? Liquid shut off. Yep. I don't know if I'm going to need one, but I think just having the ability to shut it off is probably a good idea. No, Dalton, you dumb creature. Get out of that hole. You can't do that inside of it, dingus. <sighs> you believe that? Dalton, just deciding to build himself inside of the oxygen manufacturing plant. Now he doesn't even care. Oh, and I forget how excited they get when they get a bunch of uh, jobs to do that are super easy. They're like, oh boy, we're going to forget all our responsibilities and the other things that you used to were supposed to do. And now we're just going to build all 14 bajillion of these pipes. Dalton, I should fire you. I really should. Oh, research completed. At least Splattersax knows how to do research. All right, are we doing good? I feel like I should just do all of these down. Nice. The water went in. I saw that. That's not where I wanted to put the water in at. <sighs> I wanted it to go into this one. Now we have water on the floor. And it's in a spot I don't want water to be on the floor. Oh my goodness. Cancel those. Sweepy, sweepy. We need to get sweepy up here to sweepy, sweep. And now it's going to pour down everywhere across the entire base, all the way down in the basement. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it? At least the hatches get a little bath. They're excited about that. That's really why I wanted a shut off valve. Okay, we'll do that quick. There we go. Now the rest of the piping system should be filling up. Good. That's what we really wanted. All right, they're gonna get all of the water out of here now. They're gonna build up the last things and then... I need to power this. How do I jumpstart it? I gotta jumpstart it with like a hamster wheel. I mean, I could jumpstart it with this. Just build that up. I'm concerned about that though, because I don't want it to backfill and create too much power, but it shouldn't. All right, let's do that real quick. We're gonna need to power this up. What are the chances of this working the first time? That's my real question. Automation wire, we need the regular wire. Build that right away. This isn't right. Something just happened here. We need that heavy conductivity wire out. Huh. 
Oh boy. We've <laughs> got it going. Hot dang, it started. Uh, I wasn't ready for that. I accidentally turned it on. Uh, oh, what? How did that <laughs> it just all of a sudden went? I connected this one to that one. Uh, but it's working. All right, that's uh, that might need to be purged. That's kind of why I put this here. We have carbon dioxide and stuff in there, which is going to be bad. The carbon dioxide is going to cause the hydrogen generators to take damage. Oh, great. It'll be like herp a derp. Yeah, and then oxygen is, it needs to be purged. Wrong element damage for sure. But we need to clear it out and it needs to stabilize and then we can fix it. Circuit overloaded. I knew that would happen too. If I just delete this one, it should be self-sufficient. Good, that one's closed in. All right, power is going. It's working. Uh, we're still getting a little wrong element damage, but I think it purged out all of the bad stuff already. <laughs> it's not quite there yet. We might need to bust into here and do some repairs. Because it doesn't matter too much what power is in this. Huh. All right, fellas, I need you to repair this thing. I don't know who can repair either. I wonder if I shouldn't have made a, a filter here. We could drop one in real quick. Yeah, there's way too much oxygen getting up here. It is priming, it seems to be working. Just taking a little bit extra time. Let's get our gas filter. Um, wrong button, I need O to switch. Pyro does not look excited that these things keep breaking. We'll need another vent over here too. There we go, why don't you have power? Oh, these aren't built yet. This is going to be breathable. We're gonna take up pure oxygen out of that, okay. So that should filter out all of the oxygen now. Maybe I should have had it the other way and just filter out the hydrogen. But I think this other area is filtered out pretty good. We just need to get the oxygen out of the system. How's the oxygen doing down here? Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> the gas is overpressurized. There's too much oxygen in our base. My goodness. All right, time to shut these off. Let's disable these buildings. There's two of them. Good. Well, that's what I like to see anyway. Stop it. Stop being complaining game's yelling at me. Food repurposing. Oh, good. That literally just finished right the second after I did it. What is that? I want one of those in real life. That also brings up the oxygen abilities, right? Where is that? Have I not researched it yet? The little gas mask things. Right here. Hazard protection. This is what we need next. Exosuits. All right. I'm also going to shut this thing off because I feel like that's probably made enough for right now. I guess we could tell at our our resources. Copper. Yeah, 2690 kilograms. That should be good for a while. How do we look here? I got a little bit more hydrogen coming in. I think it's working. I think we're, I think it's operating. I think we have things going right. This thing does concern me. I want that low threshold to be like 20, just so it doesn't shut all the way off. And I think this system has primed itself too. Okay, good. That last thing just got repaired. So if my brain is working properly, which usually it doesn't, we can figure that off. Let's see if we have someone who can do our foods. Pufflet eggs. Those are gross, if I remember right. A food bonus. Food. Mm, lower quality of food. Decor. Immune to food poisoning. Plus seven. All right, Gene. So I totally just muted my microphone. Not microphone, I paused the recording. Um, I don't know what's happened. <laughs> I don't know how long it's been muted, but I'm a dingus. I did mine out this area, started getting the mesh tiles over here. We're gonna be doing that. Did, did you guys see that I got a new person in here? I don't know if you did. Anyway, Nitrox 457's in now. Nitrox is gonna help us out with, uh, I didn't do this. Nitrox is gonna go farming route. Yeah, we're gonna go improve farming, and then that's gonna be your priority, is farming. There you go, buddy. You're doing so good now, don't you know? Hopefully I didn't leave that recording going, or stop too long. We also have a problem with the polluted oxygen coming out, so we might need a few more deodorizers. I forgot that that was just gonna burp all over the place when it did come out. So we'll build up the wires to cross. Man, that polluted oxygen's going far. Plus it has food poisoning in it. Or some of it did. There's just a little nuggets of food poisoning hanging out here. We'll get rid of it. They'll purify that pretty quickly. Whoopsies, I just mined up a piece of oxalite. That was unintentional. 
We also have these tiles. Do I want to get rid of them and make regular tiles? I don't know. It's going to be a water tank, and I don't really want it to collapse. All right. Much nice. Very good. Um, Do I want to do this now? I think the answer is yes. <laughs> That's actually going to cause a lot of problems. We're not going to do that yet. Let's leave this open. And we can move into here. I want to open this up. Nope, not that one. This one. We're going to keep that one. We're going to go down here. My phone keeps buzzing like crazy. Would you stop? My kids have their games canceled today because of a snowstorm, if you were wondering. All right, down here. Now, I am going to need to put in a water pump down inside the, the Neptune. That's what I'm going to call this, the Neptune. Because I just wanted to make up a name that really wasn't made up, and I just decided to say it anyway. All right, across the bottom over here. Copper or Stop buzzing, you stupid phone. My goodness. We have another thing. A shine nymph. Oh, iron gut. Increased medicine with creativity. Nope, we're rejecting everyone. Maybe the game is trying to tell me something with giving me like six people all that have medicine skills. Okay, so we have something interesting happening. All of this oxygen is definitely being pumped up there, which is fine. This is creating a vacuum down here. There is like milligrams of air pressure. So we're gonna turn on the Atmos sensor. And Atmos sensor, as soon as Nitrox gets that finished, should only kick on at certain times. Good, why it just came down. That's what we need too. We'll bring this wire back up and I'll just plug it into there. Good, we're also gonna need our plumbing. Now, here's the idea. I kind of wanna just build out a tile across the floor here. We could just do this and then dig all of that out and we can just knock holes in here. If we do this, why it is totally never going to get stuck in the floor. Ah, we should do that. I'm concerned because they're so dumb. And then we can just put a ladder here. All right. I only want this if it's above, say, 500. So that's just going to be off. Next thing we need to do is actually move some of these. Let's just delete that one. And we're gonna take our ventilation pipe and bring it down. Actually make some real ventilation here. Okay, I'm gonna bring that over and we'll bring it over to this left side. And go down right here. That should be good. We'll make little offshoots and we'll slap in gas vents in each of these locations. Then on the bottom side, we'll put one of these up and over and then we'll just drop in a liquid vent like so. Wow, look at this one, Dalton. Dalton's back in my good side again. He's been single-handedly building this entire thing. He's like, oh boy, I just love building pipes. That's all he's good for though. I'm kidding, Dalton. We can totally uh, disable these buildings too. They've cleaned up most of the pollution that was out here. Also, most of the pollution is straight up gone. Like, except in here, there's a ton of it. And this is what I love to see too. Oxygen being pumped into the bottom of the world where it doesn't normally get to be. We could also do this. We can close this off to the world too. Manual airlock. Nobody goes over there, so it doesn't make any sense to have air going into it on both of these. Let's just keep our air for where our people are breathing. There we go. Water's going up. We're making second number tank. I kind of want to do the same thing to here. What's the easiest way to get this water down and out? Mmm, there isn't. <laughs> I already have a pipe maze like crazy. There we go. Second liquid pump up and active. That one should be draining everything down through this convoluted mess back into this region and drop it off into this pile of water. This one's also going nicely in there and we're making it, friends. We've got a lot going on and I'm feeling comfortable which is a really bad thing to be in this game because everything can go wrong in a matter of seconds. Like, now we have no power for some reason. Anyway, my friends, that'll do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, let me know. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd also like to thank all of my channel members and patrons, including Auto Dave, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Hippius, General Harris, Trent Dent, Kodino, Ritt the Warrior, Keegan H, Zarnoff, Maxer, Ral, BC Engineers, Cars Morax, Spencer T, Whiskey, YH, Splatter Sacks, Doug Rules, Fred, Dalton C, Sikander D, Peyton Plays, Fussy Badge, Link Hewlett, Kyler J, Nitro, Nitrox, Wyatt K, and Rainbow Dash.